art is indefinable that means it can't be defined or put into words despite this there is one universal definition of art one that not many people know about that's why i decided to educate you a bit abraham lincoln beard the art itself the only pure form of art even cat girl anime can't compare to this masterpiece as I said, it can't be put into words. I would just waste hours explaining it when we can just listen to it and you will just feel the art. One quick information before we start though. This is just the first movement. There are three in total, but that's for another videos. No casual mortal would survive all three movements in one day. I certainly didn't. Shut up! Wilford Brownlee Sandwich Snowmobile of Franklin Ninja Force 5000 Abraham Lincoln Beer I want to thank Tico Deroga 123. She made my job easier by illustrating this masterpiece. Back to the beard. We will take a closer look at the verses one by one because I don't know if you were able to catch all the words. I personally find this accent of liberals pretty hard to understand. This verse is pointing out the great talent of Wilford Brimley and how he deserves his own collaboration with Subway or maybe even McDonald's. Just like Travis Scott, but cool. Many art experts think this verse is implying Benjamin Franklin's dream of invading Canada, but they are wrong. It's about Franklin the Turtle instead, as this masterpiece is anything but political, and there is no other Franklin that would benefit from the position of a snowmobile. Ninja Force 5000. This one is pretty straightforward. Franklin the Turtle wants to use the latest version of Ninja Force to invade Canada. We know ninjas are unable to operate in snow biomes, so here the snowmobile comes in handy. The last verse sums it up perfectly. It's an indirect reference to Abraham Lincoln and his amazing beard. He was six foot four, which combined with the beer explains his popularity and unseen success as a president of the United States of America. Sadly, we are still unable to tell if he was the one who gave Franklin the snowmobile, but several research attempts are analyzing this matter. <laughs> 